Oh, good lord! <gasps> Would you just look at it? Yeah! That is a 1956 Studebaker Skyhawk, only produced for one year. Yeah, that's right. Ugh, scarcity, we love it. Uh, 3,050 of them were created during that one model year, 1956. And it's a really pretty car. And this was under the design. And obviously, I'm getting a hold of the I'm just getting ahead of myself. Okay, so this was one of the designs that came under Raymond Lowy. Now, also in house Studebaker designer Virgil Exner, and I believe he played a part in this. I would hate to give all the credit to one person, though Raymond Lowy, mighty prolific, since we're on the topic. So we have a Studebaker Avanti, and this was Raymond's last design. Um, for Studebaker. My hair's messed up. It's because it's windy in South Texas. <gasps> Look at this. So, should I make a video on the Skyhawk? <laughs> Feels rude if I didn't, right? It's beautiful, you got that two-tone. Glorious. And you can see the Skyhawk right here, pretty rare. So I know, like I said, 3,000 were made, but how many are currently in existence? That I don't know. I'll have to research it for my video because you know I love this stuff. Grr. Grr. Comment if you think I should. Comment if there's anything particular you want to, me to cover, like, do I start at the beginning of Studebaker when they were making buggies and wagons in 1852? Or do I skip ahead to the glorious 50s? Let me know. Ooh, let's look at that. Let's take a little peek. I already asked the owner if I could make a video. This is just a tease. I'm gonna make a video. I'm just not gonna do it tonight. Tonight I'm gonna make a video on a 1952 Mercedes-Benz 300. A.K.A. Adenauer. Mm -hmm. After Conrad Adenauer, I keep trying to say Adenauer. It's Adenauer. There's no E in between the D and the, e, the N. Um, Conrad Adenauer, the uh, Adenauer. Oh my God, it's going to be really hard making that video. There is indeed an E in between the D and the N for Conrad Adenauer. All right, which is what I originally had in my notes, but doesn't really matter. Now you know, and I know. And let's just go ahead and take a seat. Oh, hello. And he was the uh, first prime minister for Germany post-World War II. Would you just look? Wow, this is like super, like, I don't know if it's just me, but if I can move this, but there is not anybody with like a larger, larger, thighs could not get comfortably underneath this steering wheel. It must move up and down somehow. We'll find out. Let me just go ahead and switch the screen. You can see the interior just a bit. Woo! Hello, hello. Is this dirty? Let's see. I don't know. I don't think that really helped it. Look at that. Is this two-tone or tri-tone interior? I think it's tri-tone. Lovely. Three-tone, tri-tone. Potato, potato. Is that the Skyhawk crest?
Some of you might be saying, who is this brat that is teasing us about this car? Not even giving us a full video. <laughs> well, you are correct. I am a brat. <gasps> but don't worry. Soon I will be making a nice long video. The ins and outs, the history, all of it. All the little bitty factoids that nobody really cares about. <gasps> I do. And if that's your cup of tea, well, you should certainly subscribe. Because automotive history is kind of my thing. And that's right. If you see behind me, this is the... A little playground of sorts, and I've made a video on just about every one of these cars. This guy hugs a new one. Yeah. Love new cars. Should I say new to me, obviously? <laughs> so if that is your cup of tea, well then by all means go ahead and press the subscribe button, which might be here, and it might be here, or it might be there. Either way. Bye.